This is Huansk, which is just to the north of Warsaw. This square is called the Platz Pintnastego Sherpnia. There you are, I'm going to point that in pretty close. That means the 15th of August square, which uh, today is the 15th of August, and uh, as you can tell from the flags which are out, so they must change the date on the square every single day. So tomorrow will be the 16th of August square and the next day for the 17th of August square. So it must get quite difficult for the postman to decide what day to actually uh, deliver, what address to deliver things on what day and what have you. That was a joke, by the way. Now, uh, having a look at the map, uh, it's uh, quite late in the day. It's, it's now, I'll show you what the time is. It's, uh, where's the time? It's now ten past seven. So, we haven't got much light left. Came here too late. So here we have the uh, birthplace of uh, David Ben Gurion. I've uh, just spoken to one of the locals who told me that on this there stood a house here, which was it was a brick house. It was a um, at, uh, it would have had four apartments in it, probably two, two downstairs and two upstairs, and uh, that's where you would have been. Uh, over here we have the former ghetto area. Now the uh, wooden houses that were he were here appeared to have been taken down in the in the 70s. Uh, like many places, uh, Lublin's uh, another example of that. The ghetto here, if I understand it, was not, uh, it wasn't closed in any way. It was open, I mean, but then again, people, uh, threats were enough to keep people uh, inside. The ghetto, uh, people were taken to Auschwitz in October 1942, amongst other deportations. And I've just been speaking to a gentleman here, and his grandfather told him uh, about how it happened. He was watching from the buildings, we can actually see between the two here. See, the gentleman we spoke to has been, been living there for 60 years, but it's been his family for obviously a very, very long time. And uh, so we're my witness of that. Here we have a tree which appears to have been put here in 2003 from the citizens of uh, Ramat Negev, with which Ponsk is twinned. It's also twinned with the town of Volgograd, formerly Stalingrad. So, very large place for got nice to get twins twinned with. So here we have a sushi restaurant, and this sushi restaurant serves some uh, great stuff here, such as a uh, pig knuckle in beer and uh, homemade pierogi, which is a well-known sushi dishes. <laughs> Beside the road that leads to Warsaw, we've got here the former uh, cemetery, Jewish cemetery. And there we have a memorial to the murdered Jewish uh, Poles, killed by the Nazis. This, so when you get up close, you can see these are not actually real gravestones, but commemorative ones. These stones speak for all uh, those lying in this cemetery and all the Jews that were uh, murdered, uh, inhabitants of, of Bonsk, all the people murdered from here. They are, that's the people who actually founded the, uh, the memorial, the Nussenbaum family. And here we learn that the Jewish cemetery was founded here in 1670 and once was 33,000 square meters, that is to say 3.3 .3 hectares, so it's a pretty uh, big area, and this is only a tiny part of that, uh, as can be seen. So there we have the, uh, the bus station in Plonsk, and there's the remand prison in Plonsk. So if you're in there and you're thinking of tunneling your way out, I think that your best bet is probably somewhere over there. This building has a most unusual shape. So having visited the Jewish cemetery, we're now walking back into the centre where we left the car. Oh, there's, the, there's the well. So it's now turned 8 and uh, it's getting dark, 
Well, six weeks past the uh, longest night of the year. Not more than six weeks, seven weeks past that. In fact, nearly eight weeks. So this isn't going to come out very well because it's late. But uh, we have here um, a war memorial. But um, see, first of all, like a cross, the sort of thing that's used on military graves. And there we have uh, a dedication to those who were, who were killed fighting fascists. Um, put up in 1959 so it doesn't mention those who died fighting the communist murderers as well. Way back to the main square, so we're going back to the main square, it's now getting dark.